in a test experiment on a model aeroplane suppose that this is the aeroplane in wind tunnel the flow speed on the upper and lower surface of the wings are here the velocity is 70 meter per second and here the velocity is 65 meter per second if the wing area area of the wing is given 2 meter square the lift of the wing lift on the wing means force we have to calculate we will apply the boundary theorem in the upper region as well as lower region we will write p1 plus half rho v1 square equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square so we will write p2 minus p1 that is a pressure difference is the half rho v1 square minus v2 square so delta p is written as the half into rho is 1.2 it is given then v1 square minus v2 square 70 minus square minus 65 square so we can say a square minus b square is a plus b and a minus b so it is 135 into 5 divided by 10 so if you calculate further 5 to the 10 2 to the 4 4 3 to 12 so it is 3 into 135 so delta p is 5 3 is a 15, 3 is a 9, 1, 0, and 3, 1, 4, 5, that is the delta P. Okay. Now, force we have to calculate. We all know very well pressure is given by force upon area. So, force is given by pressure into area. What is the pressure? 405 and area is 2. So, we will calculate 5 to the 10 and 4 to the 8. So, it is 810 Newton. So, the lift of the wing is 810 Newton. So, right answer is 810 Newton.